the sales process is effectively done, right? We've, we've gone through the process of gathering our account. We set up an opportunity in here. We, and then at some point we were ready to go with the contract. So we initiated that contract process um, out of Salesforce. So because this is a demo and because demos require me to show you stuff, rather than automating this through the back end, which is typically how it would happen, Mintex would on a schedule, it would go grab the list of contracts, it would find the ones that are new, that have just been issued, and it would handle all that process itself. What we're going to do is we're going to take this for demo purposes. We're going to grab this little contract ID here, and now we're going to move on to the next stage in our life cycle. So let's go back to our homepage, right? So let's check back in here. So we did our contract here. We started our new contract out of Salesforce. So now what we need to do is we need to generate an agreement, right? So that's our next little button here. Run the workflow to pull contract data from Salesforce and generate the working draft, right? So let's click on this and see where this takes us. So this is going to take us to a Nintex workflow. And so the Nintex workflow is really the glue that sort of grabs all the data, orchestrates the whole process. And so what we can do is we can click on this generate subscription agreement. And I'll go into this workflow a little bit. I'm trying to keep an eye on time here. Should be doing fine so far. And so this contract ID from Salesforce here, we're going to paste that right in. And we're going to hit start. So what it's doing is basically um, saying, all right, so we have a contract. We know we need to generate this as paper. Um, so we need to know what that ID is. Again, this would generally happen on the back end. It would be automatic. It would go ask Salesforce directly, hey, do you have any new contracts for me? And then it would sift through those IDs and then actually run this automatically. So you can automate this whole entire process. Um, but that wouldn't be much of a demo if the whole thing happened automatically and I had nothing to show you. <laughs> so here we are. So I'm going to hit start. And what this does is this fires off our contract workflow. All right. So this is our contract records that we generated. Now, this is going to fire up. It's going to start running. Should our little uh, tag here will we'll update as, as it runs. Run this a, a few times before. So we've got some pre-baked contracts um, in the library already. And we can go take a look at those uh, while this thing runs. Uh, but let's pause for a minute and talk about the contract generation process, right? So it's not just simple enough that you can sort of Go in, create a workflow, grab some, you know, grab your sales information from your CRM and then just pop it into a Word document and you're off to the races. There's a little bit of work that has to be done before then, right? Through the contract generation process. You need legal to sign off on specific clauses. You need to generate your copy, right? Maybe you're getting your copy from your clients. Maybe you're generating your copy internally you're going to generate potentially different types of agreements and you'll have different departments um, that need different templates. So the way this process works here, what Nintex is doing for us is it's going into our contract template library and it's pulling out our subscription agreement. So we're just going to generate a subscription agreement in this demo. And so the official copy of that is here in a document library in SharePoint. So this is versionable, it's governable, we can approve it with a workflow in and of itself. Uh, we can co-author in here, we can create additional templates, or we can create additional pieces of documentation that we want to merge together into a single file and have that all work within the context of Nintex. And it can grab all this, this copy for us, this official approved copy, and it can generate our contracts for us. So let me show you what this thing looks like. I'll open this up here in Word Online. So this is a document template. And so, you know, we've gone through a lot of effort to make sure that this is what we want in our agreements, right? So we validate the language. Uh, we've checked for, you know, regionality. Um, we've, you know, maybe included separate clauses, and we have different rules based on, you know, what the geolocation of the of the customer is. And we may need to include different things. And so, what we can do is we can take this sort of master copy, and we can drop these little tags in here. 
So if you if you look closely at the screen, you'll see these little bracketed tags in here. So Nintex document generation, which is the workflow action that's going to take this document and drop our customer name and sales rep and all that information in here to generate our our work and copy, has a tool that will open up in Word and will actually allow you to drop in the tags directly. So you might think, oh boy, I have to go in here and I have to type all these in by hand? No, not at all. Much, much easier than that. So with the new app model in the new version of Office, they have an add-in that just lives right in Word. It will open up on the right-hand side. If we have time, I can definitely show that later too. Um, Joe, Ricky, if you guys want me to pull that up at some point, once I get through the demo, I'm happy to do so. And I can show you where that sort of, uh, where that is. It's very easy. You literally click on a tag and it just drops it in. So what it does is it just reads the schema from your contract list and says, oh, you have a field called customer name. Where would you like to drop that in? And you can just drop these in wherever it's important. So here you have the customer name inside of the agreement down here. Um, if I scroll down a little farther, you'll see where some other information is going to show up. We've got the customer name down here as well in the signature line. You've got the address down here in the bill to section, contact name for GigWorks over here. So you can build these out how you need them to be built. And all this text is dynamic. You can pull it from different areas within SharePoint. And right now we're pulling all this stuff from Salesforce. So let's go see if our contract is done. All right, so back to our homepage. We're gonna check in where we're at. So we started our new contract in Salesforce, so that was done. We went to our generate subscription agreement. We ran that button and we pasted the contract ID in there. Again, piece that would normally happen behind the scenes. So now we have our working documents library, right? So this is where now that you've taken all that data out of Salesforce and you've gone through the process of finalizing your contract templates with legal and with the sales teams and with the people who are necessary for that process to be completed, marry that all together with Nintex through the workflow and drop it into your working documents library. And this is where your team can then go to then finalize that contract. So let's pop this open.